Thank you very much, and uh, thank you first of all to the Ateneo uh, School of Government for organising this very uh, important event at a very important time uh, for the new uh, Banks of Moro Parliament and uh, the people of the, of the Banks of Moro. Uh, can I start by saying it's great uh, to be back. Uh, I was in Cotabato in uh, 2015. Uh, at that time, uh, the implementation of the Comprehensive Peace Agreement uh, was going very slowly indeed. Uh, there were problems in the Senate in particular who were resisting making progress on the new law. And at that time, uh, I and others from outside of uh, the Philippines, outside of Mindanao, outside of the Bank Samoro area, um, were trying to show our strong support for uh, the progress that had to be made and for the agreement that had been uh, reached. Uh, I am so pleased to be back here in 2019 with the passing of the, the BOL, the establishment of the new interim parliament and the new interim government, uh, and all of these kind of events that are preparing for uh, uh, the autonomous region uh, and all the powers that will come with that. And I want to congratulate uh, everyone who's been involved, the compromises that you have made uh, uh, to advance the cause of your people, uh, the way in which uh, people from different organisations here in the Banks of Moral area have worked together in recent years uh, to deliver this change uh, and to work with the new president to make sure uh, that the law was passed and the new parliament will come into being. And in particular, I want to congratulate you for the result of the plebiscite, uh, the turnout in the plebiscite. We thought we did well in Scotland. Uh, back in uh, 1997, we had a similar uh, plebiscite based on the proposed uh, Scotland bill, or, or our equivalent of the Banks of Moral Organic Law. And uh, in, 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 in that plebiscite, I think we had a turnout of about 75%, and about 70% of the people of Scotland voted yes to go ahead with the new parliament. We thought we had done well, but your turnout exceeded uh, our turnout, uh, and your result was of course not only successful where that was expected, but in some other areas like here in Cotabato, uh, where people voted for change. So a huge congratulations to everybody who's been involved, and uh, I wish you all the very best in what will be, I'm sure, really difficult and challenging times ahead, but exciting and positive times ahead for the people of, uh, uh, of the Mike Samoro. Twenty years ago this year, in 1999, our new Scottish Parliament was elected. And I want to start by acknowledging the point that was made by the colleague uh, at the back about the importance of recognising that the culture in the UK is not the same as the culture here uh, in the Bank of Order area. So, if I mention today our experience in Scotland, it is only to help add to the discussion. You have to devise your own way forward. Nobody else can do it for you, not even Malaysia. Uh, nobody else can do it for you. You have to decide your own priorities, uh, your own challenges, deal with your own difficulties. There will be good days and there will be bad days. Uh, but what is important is there will be your days and you alone will make the decisions. Uh, and we learned that very quickly in Scotland after, uh, after 1999. Um, and over those 20 years since 1999 and the creation of our new parliament, as you can see from the uh, display earlier from Michael, there have been many changes in the way that people have voted. But the thing that has been consistent is that the lives of people in Scotland have been improved. Um, we too had a feudal system of land ownership in 1999, incredibly, in a modern, democratic, uh, uh, economically prosperous country like Scotland, we still had in 1999 a, a system of uh, feudal land ownership. Um, I grew up on a sheep farm, my father was a shepherd, 
Um, where the, uh, the landlord who owned the estate that the farm was on uh, controlled uh, the actions of those who lived on the estate and I uh, remember that only too well. Since 1999 we have abolished that system of uh, feudal land ownership and replaced it with options for local people uh, to have community ownership and real control over their uh, land and their own destiny and that's one of the biggest decisions that our parliament has been able to make. But we have also seen uh, changes and improvements in our education system, uh, changes in our uh, health services that have led to better health uh, for our people in Scotland. We were able to uh, improve the, uh, the justice laws uh, that serve our people and the way in which they are uh, implemented. And in the environment and in transport and in so many other areas, uh, we have seen significant improvements in the quality of life uh, for people in Scotland. So everything that we did back in the 1950s, the 1960s, the 1970s, the 1980s, the 1990s to create that parliament was worth it. Because we may have made occasionally the wrong decision, we may have had our arguments and our debates, but ultimately we have improved uh, the lives of our people and we should be very, very proud, uh, proud of that.